Welcome back uh, to NTV, my teacher, UAE's biggest classroom. And as promised, I've got two dignitaries with me in the studio. Uh, I have Mr. S.J. Jacob, uh, the principal of Alamir English School, Ajman, and the winner of the President's Award for the Best Teacher in 2014. And uh, we also have Ms. Piali Gupta, uh, who works at the Arun English School, Sharjah, the girls' branch, who's a student counselor and with umpteen years of experience of working with students and, uh, and parents. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. Hi. And congrats, sir, for the great honor you've all made Thank us you. proud. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, before we took a break, we were speaking to uh, parents, students, and the subject matter expert yeah. on this topic. As we all know, the number of suicides among students is increasing, and that's quite alarming. Uh, because I think if we work together, we can really help our students sure. manage pressure well and yet succeed in academics and do well in life. So it's a question of becoming happy and becoming successful at the same time. So uh, I'll have my first question uh, to Mr. S.G. Jacob yes. because personally I know the kind of uh, uh, interventions that they do uh, in the schools to make sure that students learn uh, better. So sir, uh, what we would like to know, especially uh, we had a parent who came at yeah. the beginning of the show and who said that uh, teachers must definitely do something more. So what do you think, sir? What can teachers do to make sure that a student who's weak understands better and learns better in class? What can be done? Thank you. I have, I have heard the, uh, their uh, interaction with you okay. by the parent. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, yeah, students are a heterogeneous group in the class. Okay. So weak students will be there, mm -hmm. sent children will be there, academically bright children will be there. Okay. A weak teacher cannot do better. That's my view. Okay. So a teacher must be a best teacher mm -hmm. in their work. Okay. So born teachers may be there mm -hmm. or the acquired, the knowledge mm -hmm. and the techniques mm -hmm. will be acquired. Okay. Then the pressure, mm -hmm. stress, of course, in my view, we have to give certain pressure to the children. Exa exactly. exactly. Uh, so you'll be amazed. Uh, an award-winning student said that pressure exactly, is nice. Exactly. You know? and, and these are students who get time to do all these umpteen things outside the academic domain. So yes. Now, which way? Yes, teacher must give a pressure common to the 30 children in the class. Okay. Um, how the children will take? As the boy told, he, he accepts that way. Okay. But now the issue, the teacher pressurized the children as a whole. Okay. But my advice to my teachers, you just understand the children. Okay. Each and every boy or girl must be must be understood by the teacher. Okay. Which way? Okay. The issue will be there. Okay. The teacher must learn the boy because the same group actually the special education need children mm -hmm. in which area okay yes, suppose we are giving an uh, one homework to the assignment to the children children the class some children may not be doing it okay some children the bright children may do it mm -hmm. but the 30 children cannot do that assignment mm -hmm. so the very next day the children come to a class with that pressure mm -hmm. the children see that when the sorry the parents see how my children are doing the pressure right because many reasons sometimes the ch parents cannot help them mm -hmm. so my advice to the uh, teachers actually you just learn the issue then just give some correction okay. some motivation to the same children uh, so can I ask you a very sensitive yes. question it, it, it's a controversial question well. too uh, we all understand that yes teachers uh, must go out of the way to recognize who is weak, uh, to understand what help he needs. But in, 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 in with the kind of responsibilities that teachers have right mm. now, the assessments and the grading and the activities, do you think teachers will get time to do all this? This is a very interesting question. Now teachers cannot escape. Okay. I tell you, you know that du in Dubai, KSDA program is there. Exactly. Now it has been referred to Northern Emirates, SSE, okay. School Self-Evaluation. Okay. So it's a tremendous job mm -hmm. and we are getting sleepless nights, even okay. principal and teachers. Okay. Of course, so in that program, mm -hmm. how the child 
will be in the class. Okay. Which way you are assessing, okay. what type of activities you are giving okay. and the group activities required. Okay. The group no, before when we give an activity for the whole class, uh -huh. it should not be like that. Okay. Suppose one activity in different ways. Okay. Okay. One activity, so in this group, uh -huh. the objective will be maybe one objective. Okay. And the second group, another objective. Okay. The academically bright children will be given a research type of activity. Okay. One activity, different objective. Wow. So teachers cannot escape now, they have to do it. Oh, That's the program. So, sir, can we parents expect uh, a huge improvement in the in the scores of, of our children Definitely. in case it happens? Case Definitely. It happens. Um, a, a, a one more controversial question. Yeah, right. Sir, this approach could be amazing, mm. but do you think our teachers are appropriately trained to handle these uh, new assignments? Yeah, that's a very good question. Actually, oh, teachers also, among teachers, same teachers are there. Okay. Especially education need <laughs> is required for among <laughs> teachers also, I used to that's say. Interesting. Okay. And now, we principal have been called for a training, five days workshop. Okay. And now we are teaching our supervisors uh -huh. and department heads. Okay. And then department heads will uh, train our teachers. True. Uh, I think I think if I summarize sir's uh, uh, um, answer, basically every teacher should not have the same approach towards the 30, 35 more yes. students that he or she has in class. I think the teacher's challenge is to is to see who is weak, who is strong, and who requires extra support, and then to find time somehow to make sure that the extra support is provi is provided. Of course, with the support of uh, 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 the parents and the rest of the community as well. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. I'll, I'll come back thank to you, you with you. with another controversial question, yeah. of course. Uh, <laughs> let's ask ma'am here. Ma'am, uh, you might have met in your uh, so many years of experience that you have um, in India and here. Uh, you might have uh, seen a lot of cases where, like a rubber band, students were uh, snapping. So, uh, when we spoke to the subject matter expert, she said, well, parents are not doing a good job in motivating their children. So, so how can you motivate, I don't have anything against <laughs> these languages or these subjects, but I'm saying, how can you motivate someone to learn Hindi grammar or, or trigonometry when the child knows that he's not going to use it probably? So, so, so what do you advise? See, before even I begin talking about motivation, I would like to s tell you that, you know, all these things that we're talking about, pressure and stress, uh, I think some of it comes from how we are being brought to face it. Okay. Uh, let's, let's say, uh, if I am faced with an issue, let, let's say, say it's a subject matter issue, okay. then are we being teaching our children on fighting it, flying or you know, wanting to avoid it? Or are we telling our children that, okay, uh, let's face it, let's mm -hmm. see what is the problem. Mm -hmm. Let's tackle mm -hmm. it and break it up into pieces, yeah. break it up into parts, and let's just tackle it. Mm -hmm. Are we doing that or are we telling our children, okay, let's uh, forget about it, keep it for the last minute. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's where the motivation part comes. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I've always been uh, clear on this. I think most of our problems get solved when we start communicating. So okay. parents ca yes. are the main area where the children would like to confide, mm -hmm. communicate. So if our parents are, are regularly talking to their children, then it becomes very easy for a parent to identify what are the issues that are troubling the yeah, child. Very good point. At times what happens, and especially in UAE, when I'm uh, working, I see that both parents are working. So it's difficult for them mm -hmm. to be coming That's home and you know talking to them or giving time. I would uh, suggest that why don't you all give your children quality time, have mm -hmm. one meal together. Mm -hmm. uh, while you're driving them to uh, school, talk to them. Mm -hmm. Or you know when you're even uh, have this uh, you and me time mm -hmm. where we talk about no do's and don'ts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. only you know appreciate each other okay. talk about the fun times mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you'll see it's simply do something together maybe you know draw something paint something mm -hmm. create yeah. something and it'll be it'll be surprising you know how parents can you know bond with the children it's only once you start bonding and communicating can you come to the next level which I would call motivating uh, ma'am um, as part of the research we asked parents when do you really ta spend time with your kids on a day-to-day -day basis? And, and sir, they said uh, during homework, because our kids can't do homework, and that's the time we, we get into exactly. the picture. So then we asked them, what's the mood in the house when, when homework is being oh. done? And 99% of them said it is shouting and screaming and being angry. 
Now, I don't know, in, in, a, in, a, in an environment <laughs> like exactly, that, exactly, how do you exactly. think we can, we can motivate, you know? Exactly, like I just, I, I just mentioned to you that, uh, you know what happens is, see, it is very but human, but if both parents are working, they're coming back at the end of the day very tired, mm -hmm. exhausted, tolerance level, you know, nearly to zero mm -hmm. to zero. minus level, True. then exactly. we are just True. coming in, and the doorbell rings, and we are like, have you done your homework? What do you have? What has the teacher? So, you know, I, that's exactly what I'm just saying, that can we do something on, you know, saying that, okay, we will talk about that, mm -hmm. or we can have a time slot for that, but we should have a time where the child can just come and say, okay, th what did what happened today in class? Okay. What happened in the, in the day? Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. What, you know, is there anything special that happened? Mm -hmm. Did you see, meet somebody? You know, did you, uh, what are the challenges you faced, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Or sometimes even it works when the parent discuss themselves by saying that, okay, you know, uh, it's very funny because I also experienced the same thing. Mm. Okay. You okay. remember, I uh, I just remembered that even I failed in that subject, you know? Okay. Okay. And these are the steps right. I took. Okay. Then the child thinks, okay, then it's okay to fail or it's mm -hmm. okay, you know? Because failure shouldn't be, uh, you know, uh, I feel that failure shouldn't be taken as a major letdown. Mm -hmm. It should be taken as a first step to success. Okay. And okay. if we as parents, I, I'm considering myself a parent because I am a parent and also a counsellor, I would say that if we teach them that it's just the first step. Mm -hmm. Every, every uh, phase of life will have challenges, every place you're going to fail, you're going to pick up yourself and start moving on. Mm -hmm. And how do we do that? With the motivation and support of the parents and of course the immediate support group whoever is around. True. Um, I think two extremely valuable points ma'am said. One is having a meal together. There's research, parents please know, there's research that says families that dine together, at least one meal together, of course without the TV playing in the background or without the kids on the smartphones, no, uh, there's a huge difference in the performance of these students over time. So for schooling and later yes. in college and even in their careers, exactly. just the, the quality time spent together, together. I think it adds a lot of value. And another point, ma'am said, is please communicate to your children. Ask them what happened in school today. And I think uh, if you if you get into an interrogative mm -hmm. mode and say what happened, you know, they're not going to exactly. answer. Exactly. So one way to do that would be to talk about what happened in your office. Yes, you know? exactly. Uh, uh, and then probably uh, they'll talk about uh, what happened in, in, in their uh, domain as well. Uh, um, sir, uh, if I may ask, I think we have a break coming yeah, up, right. is it? Okay, we'll have a break coming up. But just, just before that, uh, so I understand that uh, in your school you yeah, do a lot of amazing efforts to make sure that students really understand what is uh, required to learn for the exam. Could you kindly talk us, t t talk us through some of these things that you do? So in my school, yep. uh, actually we have some program. Okay. As a team we are doing that one. Okay. Especially we are focusing certain areas of the children. Okay. On the First, our teachers will communicate with the parents okay. and we will get the real situation at home. Okay. And then we will talk to the child okay. with that base. So we will see whether it is matching or not. Okay. Sometimes the children may skip away from all these okay. things. Okay. So after that, we segregate the children okay. accordingly. Which way, in which level we will look into this issue. Okay. Sometimes the teacher's level uh -huh. or the supervisor level or in the principal and vice principal level. We will just true, think about true, this. True. Yeah. Amazing. I think the schools can really do a lot uh, if they want to. So we'll surely talk about some best practices that schools can do to help our little ones cope with pressure better. We'll take a break now and uh, after the break we'll come back and continue our very interesting conversation with sir and ma'am. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see the telephone uh, number listed down. If you'd like to call us, uh, you're, you're, much, you're welcome to do so and uh, you can address your concerns on air to our panel of experts. So it's now time to take a break. See you at the other side of the break. Okay. Thank you. 